Hello again guys, welcome to Maths with Nathan here at Palatine. I've got another game to show you today, so we're going to scoot all the way over to my table where I can show you how to play it. This game is called Nice and Nasty, and I'm going to show you how to play it now. Now to play it, you will need some digit cards. Now here are our digit cards, now you could make these out of paper or on post-it notes or bits of card. It's up to you, I've got some from my classroom here. All right, and I've got them all spread out there. Numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn them over, just like this. All right, so we can't see them. And then I'm going to mix them all up, just like they do on Ant and Deck. Mix them all up. And I don't know where any are. Now the aim of this game is to end up with the biggest number. And you're going to play with one other person. So there'll be two people. I guess you could probably play it in a group of three or four if you wanted. You might need some more digit cards. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to decide who goes first. So I'm going to choose a card uh, randomly from here. And I'm going to turn one over. And it is the number, what was that? The number five. Well done. And now my partner is going to have a go. Now I haven't got anyone playing here with me because we're trying to keep our distance. But my other person that I was playing with might turn this card over and they get the number three. Now can you tell me which is the bigger number? Which number would win? That's right, five is bigger than three. Now if we were going to do some maths with this, we might draw a special symbol to show that five is greater than three. And that's the way the symbol goes, because 5 is the bigger number, it's got the big gap, and it gets smaller as it goes to the 3. Sometimes you might see teachers putting little crocodile teeth on here, and drawing an eye, and then try and remember that the crocodile likes to eat the bigger number, so 5 is bigger than 3. Now that's the nice way of playing it, alright? Let's turn over again. If you want to play the nasty version, what you have to do is the first person picks their card but then doesn't show the other person. So I've got the number 8. Now I can choose that I can keep it for me or I can give it to the person that I'm playing with. Now 8, that's quite a big number, isn't it? So I think I'm going to keep that on my side of the sheet. And then let's see what my partner's going to pick. Oh, they get the number one. So, which is bigger? Eight is greater than one, or is eight less than one? That's right, eight is greater than one. So we could do our sign this way round. Eight is greater than one. Now then, let's try again. So I'm going to pick the number... Two. Oh, now I've decided I'm not going to keep that for myself because that's quite a small number. So I'm going to give that one to my partner, which is over here. And then I'm going to pick a card for me. Oh, look at that. So I got the number zero. Now, which is bigger this way? That's right. 2 is actually bigger than 0, so my sign will go that way round, because 0 is less than 2, or 2 is greater than 0. So that's the game, Nice and Nasty. I'll be back soon with a harder version of Nice and Nasty, with two digit numbers, so keep looking for that one as well. Anyway then, have a good time, and we'll see you soon. Bye!